so it was owned by formerly Guilford, now Pan American or something, a transportation company. Up oh, more of these blazings. And they couldn't squeeze enough money out of the main central railroad, so they gave up on that route. Now Maine, because they're not as squeamish about old slop residues from trains that may be toxic, and because they keep an eye to future developments, they essentially just ripped up the old rippled track, which was already unusable when I started in the 1980s. And the ties put down a simple kind of gravel bed on the whole mess and opened it up for things like quad vehicles or bicycles or hikers or whoever. <laughs> they really aren't worrying about it. And they did that in part because they want to leave open the possibility that that right-of-way may again be reborn actually carrying freight, which it could very well be if the cost of oil starts to crunch the trucking industry. There's another one of these things. That's how Maine would do it. And of course they're usually broken. Couldn't necessarily see spending tons of money on paving 125 miles of rail trail. Another nice cut here. This brings us back to Needham Junction. And forward we go to the Charles River. path goes. I know that goes back to Needham Junction and I know this goes forward to Medfield and I'm reasonably sure that this is a town forest. Oh and look there's another old telegraph pole relic. Hiding in the woods. And there's an interesting little bit of woodland whimsy. A tiny birdhouse that would barely hold a bumblebee at this funny little vernacular trailhead to the old dead rail bed. Wild grapes. Sure to please many a thing when they actually begin to ripen. More surveyor marks. A strange bit of rusting something. Looks like it is. Have a look. Oh no, it's just an old 
rusting tie. Rotting tie. Never mind. Some of these excursions I found old railroad signal equipment just lying there with a venerable coat of rust on it. People are carving initials in the ties, so this is probably already becoming, and probably has been, a local hiking element. Looks like it was, it's mostly doable by mountain bike. <coughs> Although you would be getting a bit of a jouncing from the many ties. Oh. I've got more of these strange blazons. This particular section is kind of like a man-made esker overlooking <coughs> some lowland wetlands. Actually, this is more a hilly little forest. The wetlands are on this side. Yeah, this is a, an amazing Look at that in there. It's quite a drop. An impressive human engineering feat from long ago. This change of terrain suggests we may be in that floodplain zone of the Charles River and we might be running into it soon. That'd be I haven't seen much poison ivy. <clears throat> and the mosquitoes are indifferent to me. Could it be something I ate? Right away is also carrying power lines over this way. <laughs> Things are getting a bit tiny. We transition away from the oakiness of it all.
lid cover.